The pandemic has been challenging for all of us. Isolation, fatigue, hate, bankruptcy, anxiety, depression, and even death. This was a rare situation where it was hard for the whole world. But seated amid the many unknowns of COVID was also a lot of unexpected innovation right here in our own backyard. So we're asking our local businesses to tell us their stories, the good parts and the bad parts in living through this moment of history. From survival to success, Fort Wayne is back in business. Our back in business with Blakesley series continues with Mancino's on West Coliseum Boulevard. And wait until you meet the owner, Tabitha Gray. She has got one heck of a story from nearly having to close her doors to helping supply nearly 20,000 meals to kiddos right here in Fort Wayne. I can't wait to share her story. So here we are at the Mancino's on Coliseum, the Fort Wayne location. And I happen to know that you acquired this location not too long ago. Tell that story. Um, I purchased this in October of 2019, right before. Right smack dab before COVID right hit. Before COVID. How yeah. has that been? It's been a series of ups and downs. Yeah. It really has. There's been some great days and there's been some not so great days, but um, we're still here. Our doors are still open. So, Was there a moment when you thought to yourself, we aren't going to survive this? Yes. Tell me about that. 150 um, percent. Toward the beginning of COVID, when everything started shutting down, when they were, you know, you can't have dine-in and, and those kind of things, that that scared me. So you shut down your restaurant? We shut down inside, inside. dining, but we stayed open for carry-out. Um, there were a lot of really strict rules we had to go by, and that, that was difficult. So here you are, you're in the middle of this pandemic, your restaurant inside has to be shut down. What did you do to stay afloat? Whether it was just carry out, delivering meals, I mean, what were you guys doing? Well, I, I can't, honestly, I can't remember if it was my location or if um, it was the New Haven location. And, and we're separate, we're completely separate, right. but they are wonderful, wonderful people. Um, we decided to start doing um, free meals for kids. Wait, hold, hold on. Okay. You're in the middle of your restaurant I'm not even about to survive. You're yeah. questioning whether or not you should have even bought it to begin with. And you decide, oh, we're going to give out free food. Yes. <laughs> but when I, when I was young, okay, so this is kind of twofold. Okay. And first I will say that part of me really thought I was going to lose the business. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to close my doors and throw away product. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I wanted to make sure that if I was going to lose it, somebody was going to benefit from that. Oh, wow. And um, when I was younger, um, we were very, very, um, you know, we were very poor. So um, when I went to school, you know, elementary school, I had um, breakfast and lunch at school and it was paid for. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't remember what exactly happened. I think it may have been a teacher strike or something like that. Um, school was closed. My school was shut down for about two weeks. And like I said, I can't remember why, but I do remember being hungry. So I started thinking about all these kids and kids that depended on breakfast and lunch at school. And I thought, well, how can we help them? So free lunches were born. Oh my and gosh. It, on behalf of Mancino's. On behalf of Mancino's. But and what kid doesn't love Mancino's, right? That's the best school lunch ever. <laughs> <laughs> but the best part of it was that, you know, we had to advertise. We needed people to know that we were giving out free lunches so that they could bring their kids in. Right. And um, I think our total was about right, just under 1,200 free lunches that we gave wow. to kids um, during that time. Wow. But there, the bigger story is it, it's so much better than that. Um, once we started doing that, other businesses started doing it too. So you created this, uh, this it, domino effect. It, it was incredible. I mean, my guesstimate, my guesstimate is about 20,000 kids were No. 
not by just my restaurant. Right. Fort Wayne restaurant owners united yes. and, and potentially fed over 20,000 yes. kids here in our community. That's, re I had, yes. I, that's remarkable. I'm actually speechless, and I'm not often speechless, Tabitha. Well, that's, that's remarkable. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, when I think about it, I still... It gives me goodbums. goosebumps. Yeah. I get so excited because... Well, I guess this is the way my brain works, because that's remarkable, yeah. and it's touching. But didn't that at the same time put you back? It did, but you... Because you're already treading water. Yes, but that publicity also brought people in. Mm -hmm. I had, you know people that would send me a check for $7 in the mail that said, oh my this gosh. is great kids meal. Thank you. That um, is I so had sweet. people that would come in and specifically walk in the door just to say, I want to contribute to that. Um, just amazing. So from buying this location in October of 2019 mm -hmm. to doing all these really, quite frankly, remarkable things through the pandemic, still staying yeah. afloat, now the challenge is, yes, you're, you're here, you're yes. still here, you're open, your doors are open for business, but now the challenge is just simply having enough employees yes. to stay open. Yes. How can we get people to come work at Mencino's uh, for you? How can we? I, I'll send that <laughs> I'm question. trying. Yeah. Um, from me to you, on behalf of Brad Golf with Bradley Golf Diamonds, on behalf of Whoa, Whoa, thank you. You guys have just gone oh, above and beyond, you. and I'm hoping this might help you know, stir up some chatter and say, folks say, hey, I want to go work for that I, woman. I want to go work so there. Too. I hope that so would too. That be awesome. We need, we need the help. <laughs> well, best of luck. <laughs> if you're interested in becoming a member of the Mancinos family, you can pop into their location here at 1025 West Coliseum Boulevard and just ask for an application. I hear John will help you out. Though the outbreak may have dramatically changed lives and relationships over the last year, it also dramatically changed the way we do business. And we're highlighting those businesses and those changes every week on WoWo. Back in business with Blakesley, powered by Bradley Golf Diamonds, locally owned and conveniently located right across the street from Jefferson Point. It's Bradley Golf Diamonds.